Lisa and this is video number two for baby wearing week and I get to show you one of the newest carriers we're going to be showcasing. Actually I think this might be the newest. It is the Tula Explore. Da, da, da. And I'm going to be showing the forever pattern. If you have been hanging out with us for a while you probably saw a video we did a couple weeks back where we were actually showing the carrier for the very first time. And since it's come out, um, we've heard lots and lots of feedback. We got to showcase it at MommyCon in Orlando in early September. And uh, folks on our team have gotten to use it. And I have used it now too. Um, my child is on that upper end of the weight range um, and size spectrum. Uh, Luella is about three and a half and she's around 31, 32 pounds. And uh, she fits great in it. I unfortunately don't have a real child to wear it in today, but um, I'm gonna show you how to use it with a doll. So give us all the hearts, give us all the shares. We wanna be celebrating Baby Wearing Week with everybody. And if you're unfamiliar with what Baby Wearing Week is, it is a celebration of all things baby wearing everywhere in the world. Um, it definitely seems to be a bit US centric and we're obviously in the US, we're in Chicago, but we'd love to know where you're coming in from. So if you are from a city in the US or a city abroad, please uh, definitely share with us where you're coming from. We are gonna be giving away the brand new Tula Explore to one of you and, wait, 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 wait. It's a Tula Explore and something else, right? Or is it just the Tula Explore? Just the Tula. Is it just the Tula Explore? Oh, I thought we were gonna give away something else. Maybe I'll give away something else, and you're just gonna have to. Wait. Ooh, <laughs> that's Michelle in the background with the si the sound effects. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna show you um, how to use this carrier, um, a few of the features, and the things that we love about it. So this carrier can be used from birth all the way through toddlerhood, um, and. It does something that no other Tula currently does, and that is that it faces outwards. So as you can see here, a lot of buckles. Um, I'm just going to unbuckle it at the waist. And this one is straight out of the box. So it's gonna be a little bit stiff compared to um, once it's broken in. And that's just something for all of you to keep in mind too, is when you get a carrier right out of the box, I typically like to like run the buckle through it. Um, if you're more petite or if you just don't want tags in your life, rip that off. You can go in with the seam ripper and actually get the little white part off. I'm sure it says something about not removing the tag, but you know, <laughs> who's, who's doing that? So come around and back, get the buckle through the elastic loop. That's just for a little extra safety. And I like to wear my carriers. Um, right at my waist, not on my hips, not underneath my um, bra line, but on my natural waist. And I'm gonna come around here and back. <laughs> and it balanced, and I'm gonna tighten. And then um, the straps right now are pretty long. I'm gonna unbuckle the chest clip back. And I'm gonna tighten the straps a bit, and again, carrier needs to be broken in so slide the webbing through a couple times and it's going to be easier to adjust i like to think it's just really good quality when you're like struggling to adjust it the first couple times but then it goes through really easily all right i'm going to grab my baby and this is oliver he's uh about the size of a six month old yes he has a name <laughs> came with it. Um, and I'm going to be using it on the widest setting for now. And I'm just going to put the carrier on over my shoulders. And as you can see, the straps are really loose and I do this intentionally because it allows me to do the chest clip and back a lot easier. And I'm going to pull down on the sides. And as you can see, baby is good to go, nicely seated, and I can kiss it. Is anyone coming from outside the U.S. or is everyone in the U.S. so far? So far in the U.S. we have a wet Minnesota, a hot Florida. Oh, it's kind of actually, I love the weather we're having right now. It's overcast. It's, it's fall. 64 degrees. It's fall. It's beautiful. All right. So wearing the baby on my front, I can easily wear baby on my back too, which I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to show you the, aha, this is what's really great about this carrier. So I'm going to adjust it. Um, I'm going to loosen the straps. <laughs> Rockford. <laughs> I was just in Rockford. It's a good place. We went to the Discovery. 
Mercury Museum. I'm going to place baby down. Now there's a couple different methods of getting baby on the back. I'm going to loosen the carrier a bit, that way it's easier to swivel. So carrier's loosened. I'm going to put it on my hip. I'm going to grab baby, put baby on my hip, and then I'm going to scooch and reach around and back. And just like that, baby's on my back. And I didn't expose anything. I, I actually made that happen. So you can see baby's on my back. Now baby is a doll. And you always want to make sure baby is visible and kissable. On your front and on your back, you want to make sure that they're visible and they can hear a breathe. So I can see right now that because he's a doll, he's just barely visible. But you want to make sure that for back readiness, baby is sitting unassisted, has really good head and neck control, and um, you can see them and you can feel that they're breathing on you. So I did the front, I did the back. I'm going to get baby off my back. Always have one hand on baby, scoop them around, yay. So here is where the Explorer gets its name. So in the front here, there's this panel and it all unsnaps and this is similar, it's actually identical to the free to grow and I can make the seat smaller. So I'm gonna show you, the first setting is going to be for a newborn snap and imagine that Oliver now is a eight pound baby right because it's an eight pound baby he would need a smaller seat setting so that he is in a nice um, seated position I'm going to bring this back the tighten and as you can see now the seat is much much smaller and fits his legs really nicely. It has a hood, and I'm actually gonna remove the hood real quick because I feel like it's kind of getting in the way of showing you some of the features of this carrier. I'm gonna loosen the straps a bit because that's my trick to being able to come in back. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, type them up and Michelle will ask me them. She can interrupt me, I'll let her. What is the difference between this and the free to grow that makes it capable of world wearing world facing? Yeah, so I'm gonna show you that. That's like the big da -da 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 moment. That's from oh. Marnie. Oh, hey Marnie, hi friend. Um, you're all friends. But yeah, I, I we're just... so glad you all are here. Yes, thank you all. Continue to share because one of you is going to win this carrier. And if you don't want to win or somebody else wants to win, we want to share this with the world. Um, winners are only in the U.S. though, so keep that in mind. So position of baby's um, knees now. Um, it's on a more narrow setting, so that fits them uh, from birth. Okay, now world facing. So I'm going to adjust my seat of the carrier back into the wider position. And then I'm going to come over here and there's buttons along the front and they were previously in the wider of the two positions and now I'm going to make it into the inner position and what this does is it creates a nice little pocket a bucket, so to speak, for baby's bottom. This is, again, it's the first time I'm adjusting the carrier, so as you do it more than once, a couple more times, it gets easier to make the adjustments. So I'm going to place the carrier back on my waist. I'm going to pull my shirt down. I'm going to come over to this side. I'm going to tighten. Grab baby. It's gonna face outwards. And then I scoop the carrier up. I'm gonna adjust his head because he's not a real baby, so he doesn't do that on his own. Put 
put straps on. And just like that, baby is safe and secure. However, I want to make sure that I do the chest buckle and back, like so. And then I'm gonna tighten. And it's actually best to do it one side at a time so you get even uh, distribution of the webbing. And then I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna scoop baby's bottom out. So that way they're in a nice little seat. They're facing out. And this is really great if you have a child that's curious, if they wanna see things, if you're at a zoo, I think it's a really great position. It's not for everybody. Some folks really love outward facing or world facing or uh, forward facing out. Others prefer on their backs or facing them. I think it really depends on the child and the caregiver. I love that there's options. Um, and then this is of course, the first world facing position carrier from Tula and it's the Tula Explorer. It's the only one in their line that forward faces out or does that world facing position. And you can do so once baby is, you know, sitting unassisted. And again, that's gonna happen somewhere around the um, age of about six months. You know, before then they could get easier, easily overwhelmed. So you really wanna be able to monitor baby's cues. Baby will let you know if they're overwhelmed or if they're not feeling it. And then in order to just bring them back around, you would just take them out of the carrier and flip them back. So that is the Tula Explorer. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm here to answer questions. I'm gonna sit. This is a position my child would never let me do, is actually sitting with them in it, um, unless there was food involved. If there was food involved, then they were all about it. Um, I have the instruction manual handy, so if there's questions I don't know, I can easily look them up. Um, so do we have any questions to start with? Yeah, um, what is the age limit for baby? So age limit isn't really a thing with carriers, it's more of a weight limit. So for this particular carrier, um, let me confirm 100% what it is. They all vary slightly, which is the tough part to remember. So it goes from seven pounds, and they actually, interestingly enough, they do have age ranges for the seat. So they're saying for the newborn setting, which is the narrow setting, that it's newborn, which starts at about seven pounds, goes to three months, then the middle setting is for three and nine months, and then the widest setting is nine months to four years. Um, my daughter is three and a half. She fits in the carrier still. Um, my son at four would not have, so it really, again, depends on the child. Um, it's seven to 45 pounds, so some five-year-olds are that size, some two-year-olds are that size. Uh, so being aware of that, it comes in a few different colorways, and I'm sure there's more that are coming. I, um, I'm a big fan of Forever. I think it's really great. It's a good neutral that's not black. And then, um, again, it can be used forward facing inward towards you on your back, and it can be used, um, I want to say you should be able to use it in a hip carry, although I haven't done that yet. And I don't really know many people that love hip carries and soft structured carriers, so. All right. What other questions are there? Um, does it have a hood? It does have a hood, and it has um, a couple other things. So, and it actually, it doesn't look like it does uh, hip carries, according to the manual from first glance. So the hood is here. If baby was not in it, it would make more sense. So let me loosen it up. All right, so in order to put the hood back on, it has these little snaps. And it's gonna go through like so. One snap. And two. And just like that, you've got a hood. And it's removable, which I really like. And then it also has, um, this bib here on the front that can be used for extra height and um, neck support too, which is a big plus. So that flips inside or outside. Will this be available in a wrap conversion at some point? Ooh, that's a good question. You know, I'm pretty good friends with the folks over at Tula and they have not shared that with me, but I wouldn't put anything past them. They've got good creative juices over there. Can we see the print up closer? Yeah. Club. 
it's black and white um, and it has its own version of kind of that infinity print where it just, you don't know where it starts and you don't know where it ends. Oh, and it does have a pocket on the waistband, which fits your phone or a really tiny diaper <laughs> and some keys. Others. Um, someone's just asking how to enter to win. Oh, so to enter to win, we're going to have a really fun blog post going up shortly. And on that blog post, there will be a recap of our video as well as a raffle copter form to enter to win. But make sure you like this video, give it some hearts, share it, because all of those count for entries. And, and how would you compare the Chula Explorer with the Ergo Baby 360? Omni oh. 360. Okay, so for the Omni 360 versus the uh, Tula Explorer. Ooh, that's a, that's a good question. So I think so much of it has to do with the caregiver um, and of course your baby, but as the caregiver, you wanna make sure that your comfort um, is always in mind. So there's a couple of features that the Omni 360 has that I think are big pluses um, that don't come with this one. And that's not to say that it's not a fantastic carrier because it is. So on the Omni 360, I really like that there's a lumbar support along the back and that's something that a lot of caregivers have asked for over the years so i think it's great that ergo has listened um and i love like big major hearts the cool air version of the omni 360 i have it in the green which is kind of like an olive and i think it's gorgeous and i really love that the seat adjustment is done with sliders so there's no buttons um, I type a lot, I text a lot, I probably have carpal tunnel at a really young age, and I think it's easier to adjust. Um, however, I've also used it longer. So I started using that carrier with my daughter, I want to say in April of 2018. So I've been using that one a lot longer. We just now started using the uh, Tula Explore and um, I haven't had enough wear time in to really like say, oh, I would choose this one for me versus the other. Otherwise, you know, if this one, if I'd been using this one longer, you know, I might say that this was our favorite. Um, there's a couple things that this carrier doesn't have that some of the other Tulas do, and that it doesn't have PFAs, which are perfect fit, perfect fit adjusters or adjustments, and that would enable you to um, kind of uh, shorten the shoulder strap. So it doesn't have that. I don't know if it's necessarily needed on this carrier. Uh, however, if that's one of the things that you love about your Tula, just be aware of it before you try the Explore. Um, and then as far as the seat goes, I do love that it has a thinner body than uh, some of the other carriers that outward face, um, but it does have a really nice leg cushion here for baby. So I think the comfort of babies in mind. And then the waistband is, is I think it's, pretty close, if not identical, to the Free to Grow. Yeah. All right, so with that, this is our second Baby Wearing Week video. So if you're keeping track, number two on the carriers that we're giving away, we have videos every single day. We're giving away, I think, 11 different carriers from eight different brands. So stay tuned, watch tomorrow, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and we'll talk soon.